fake news. Just now we were talking, we wanted to get this uh, special color, uh, but the stuff just told us that all iPhone 16 models are sold out. Hey guys, today we are at Apple Store in Tokyo at Omote Sando, which is located directly from A2 Acid. 20th of September is the first day of launching of all the new Apple products including the iPhone 16. So now we are going in to check it out. Konnichiwa! Yay! iPhone user, um, holding this iPhone 12 mini that I purchased a few years ago. I always thinking like when should I upgrade my iPhone. I'm thinking about Apple stocks. Uh, there are several competitive advantage of Apple. Firstly because it has a strong customer or brand loyalty. So they are not only selling products but they are selling a lifestyle, a unique experience for the users. So as we can see, people here are not just to purchase the product but rather they want to experience being an iPhone user. Undoubtedly, iPhone is always the main contributor to Apple's revenue making up of 45% and they also have increased revenue from other channels such as uh, they are selling different types of wearables like the Apple Watch and the second competitive advantage that I think Apple has is definitely is the ecosystem that they have created so for iPhone users if you own MacBook and AirPod it's very easy to connect the devices and easy to transfer data like photo and video easily just like I'm having this iPhone I tend to buy AirPod to connect to this and I also buy an Apple Watch and we also have a MacBook that help us to transfer the data more easily this is how Apple is able to create sticky customer base Let's check out the latest iPhone 16. The main selling point is definitely Apple Intelligent. It's not yet officially launched. It will be able to access it when we upgrade to iOS 18.1, maybe likely uh, next month or end of the year. This is the iPhone 16 Pro. Check it out, right? So I think they have upgraded the camera button. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So. This is the uniqueness of the iPhone 16, right? When I press this, it directs me to taking photo. So the Apple Intelligence is only available in the iOS 18.1, which we are yet to figure out. Please let us know how do you think about the impact of this Apple Intelligence on the sales of revenue. Apple used to having the largest market share globally. Uh, however, in recent years, we see the drop in their market share and overtaken by Samsung, a Korean smartphone manufacturer. And of course, there are increased competition from China smartphone producers like Xiaomi, Oppo, uh, Huawei. iPhone has more market in the mature market such as US where most people are already on the iPhone. And because it's very durable and reliable, so it has a longer upgrade cycle. Like people don't change iPhone every year. They used to change like maybe three years. And because of the macroeconomic situation, some people will only change like every four to five years. So because of that, in terms of the market share has dropped slightly. But I believe that iPhone they still have this very unique position as they, they are serving this uh, market where they appreciate quality. Hey, so let's discuss about Apple's financials which has been showing resilient uh, in their latest Q3 financial result. So we can see their earnings per share and total revenue has up year over year and beat the analyst estimate which is one of the reasons of driving the price up. Apple serving this premium segment, they're able to charge the premium pricing and making them their gross margin to be consistently high at over 40%, which is why they are able to generate a good profit. On their balance sheet, they remain strong and having large cash reserve because of share buyback policy that which they have uh, promised their investors to always uh, buy back the share and ensure that share price is not diluted to control the number of outstanding shares. So in this year, in 2024, they also announced $110 billion uh, for buying the shares, which is uh, promising for investors. As we know, Apple is one of the most powerful uh, tech 
player and one of the company that has reached the trillion dollar company in 2018 and doubled it in two years and now it's already 3.5 even though their market share is still behind Samsung because of the long upgrade cycle many people are still prefer to use Apple especially their largest market is in US Europe as a long-term investor I still believe in the opportunity in Apple especially during this situation of their uh, recent launching of these Apple models we will definitely keep an close eyes on their Q4 result released in November and I will share with you the uh, updates in November again yeah that's it please comment below if you have any question and we can discuss further and please subscribe to our channels for more content like this see you again